I was just going to get rid of these flowers. Evidently, the hospital forgot them when they took the others. Oh, couldn't we just keep one vase for good luck, maybe? <laughs> of course, dear. telling me it isn't like Peter to oversleep at a time like this, not at all. Perhaps he heard something from Major Edwards. Do, do you think that could be it? No. Said they hadn't spoken this morning. But they were planning to. Yes, Peter was going right over to Bruce's hotel. Mrs. Tiro, I'm so worried about him. He looked so ill last night and weak and so tired. I think he's driving himself. Only something I could do to help. Words. Words seem so useless at a time like this. What could Peter be hiding from me? He can't fool me. I know him. I know him so well. If it's good, he'll tell you. Yes, and if it's bad, he'll never mention it. Why did Bruce have to call last night? It just spoiled everything. It may not be as bad as it seems, Jane. Well, all I know is this, Mrs. Tira. I love Peter with all my heart. I have every right to love him. Bruce was declared legally dead years and years and years ago. My life had to go on. Bruce just hasn't any right after all these years and all the things that have happened to expect me to return to him now as his wife. You can make all that clear to him when you talk to him, Jane. When he understands, but... Oh, I I'm sure he'll withdraw. Yes, but since Bruce made the phone call now, Peter won't even permit the meeting. Not that I can blame Peter, but... but you know, Peter, Jane, he'll relent. And then you can talk this all out with the Major, and everything will be resolved. 